the compost bin is a great way to make leave them in here long that'll make the plant okay it's a I see you've brought a they're great for Great work so far seeds need a little bit of room to be able to grow properly I've left Robin's plant book in the shed too if you're ever unsure
of sound. That's not my video. Is this working? <laughs> Come on, please work. Ah, yes, okay, progress.
Okay. Maybe like this? Still quiet? Maybe it's the balance. Okay, how's that? Is that better now? Is that good? Okay, yes, finally. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient. That was an unexpected start. Oh wait, I can bring my... Hello, <laughs> I can come back now. Okay, right. Just all the tech issues at the moment. First, the, the save disappeared. <laughs> then we've got no mic. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, this is the, the first planting quest on this. Has anybody else had that bug yet, by the way, where the game save disappears? I was so confused <laughs> when it happened. I was literally trying everything, like watching what I'd recorded back. Thinking that I'd done something to make it disappear. He's gonna start our wall of roses over here that we had last time. Okay, and daffodils, I started over here, didn't I? Oh. I just remembered I have to do the watering can for ages because I don't have the hose yet. I'm going to miss that hose. <laughs> okay. Great. Oh. No quest, obviously. Time. Time is what I wanted. Okay. Day one done. And the hardest bit about it was getting the microphone to work. <laughs> but yeah, I I think I I did type it in the chat, but huge, huge congratulations, Shannon. Seven years cancer free is incredible. Okay. First quest. Let's put the time away. Oh my favourite, Leslie. <laughs> Yes, go to visit Leslie is a nice quest. Is Leslie everybody else's favorite, but, or just me? You've been on Stardew Valley? Yeah, actually I was really tempted to get back into Stardew Valley recently. I haven't played it for ages, but I think there's been a new update since I played. Are you playing on PC? Uh, which shall we do first? Let's go to Leslie's. I also don't have that open yet and we've done the first two pavilion quests as well. Second is uh, there. Yeah. She is, isn't she? Also, you, you just got to love the fact that she has a giant toad in a witch's hat on the, uh, on the shop counter. Actually, everything about this game visually is just so pretty. Let's go get the daffodil cuttings. Oh, is it? It is really good. Okay, maybe I should. <laughs> maybe I should get back to it then. Trying not to get rid of all of them. There we go.
Let's get into the habit of putting all of the uh, leaves in the, in the box this time as well. Okay, we get our frogs. I kind of forgot about this part. Where did I have my frogs before? One of them was over here, right? I am kind of tempted to change a few things in the garden, but I think, no, let's, let's focus, focus for now. Let's get it back to the way that it was. I think I had that one there and then I moved that boulder out of the way. Um, okay. Oh, it wants me to rotate. Let's grab the frog again. Don't actually want it to be that. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, the garden. <laughs> right. Let's go have a look in here. What was the first thing on the to-do list again? Oh, the bench. We have to get the, the bench. Oh, your mum has been playing it, really? To be 79. <laughs> That's impressive. My mum doesn't really know how to turn the computer on. Never mind my <laughs> game on it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Shall we start cutting stuff? Don't have any. Ah, oh, it's good time zone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also sad that we lost the save, but maybe, maybe it will be a good thing. It'll just be an improved garden because I'll have learnt so much in the meantime. <laughs> Already carrying a ton of leaves around. Let's put those in here. Oh, on Switch. What's it like on Switch? Visually, is it just as pretty? Um, do I want to do anything here before we go? No, let's just get to the next day and make sure that we've got all the quests coming in. Post, um, daffodils, tulips, roses. Dark red peonies and red tulips, 30 red rose cuttings. Okay. So one of the things that we can take away from our, um, our experience is that we can cut these back way more harshly than I thought we could. So let's just take loads of flowers from the roses. Inventory management drives you nuts. I mean, to be honest, it kind of drives me nuts on PC. Is it worse on Switch? I honestly think one thing that would make this a lot easier. You just chop it from the bottom. Oh, that seems really harsh. Should we do that? Should I? Okay, we're, we're going for speed on this. So, okay, we will. <laughs> it feels so wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I think it probably is equally bad on both. It would just be so much better with the simple addition of being able to search your inventory. It wouldn't fix everything, but it would um, make everything a lot easier. We've got so many leaves right now. 
Oh, I missed one. <laughs> but we do have a ton of roses now. Uh, one of these was just roses, right? Yeah, that one. Um, so we need red tulips from Leslie, red peonies from Leslie, and the archway. That might have to be done in two trips. Yeah, it's true. It does grow back quickly. I looked over there then like we could go to the stall and it's not there because I haven't unlocked it yet. Um, how much is that, uh, the divider thing? I've gone past it. Was it right at the start? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's 400. We're going to have to wait a bit to do that. Okay, tulips. Um, actually, maybe I should get like... Ah, uh, forgot what it was like to have no money on this game. Oh, wait, do we want dark red peonies? Yeah, we do, don't we? We want a dark red peony. Let's get another one of those. Yeah, with a sort function, that would be especially good. Suppose gardening is harsh since you likely have a garden where you live in the US, it's desert. Oh, really? So you only have cactus? <laughs> so yeah, okay, you brought your, your harsh gardening expertise into, <laughs> into garden life, that makes sense. Um, yeah, you definitely wouldn't grow a cactus here unless it's indoors. It would just wilt immediately <laughs> even in the summer i think oh wait i had the i had the arch divider i was thinking that this was the part where i had to get the um the archway that i put by the bridge before this is the one that we put over here i need to pick my rock up first uh See, again, I'm kind of tempted to change it, but no, let's not. Let's just put it where it was before. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do it. Right? Like that? Game doesn't seem to mind that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> The fertilizer is good and like there's no shortage of it is there you just make tons of fertilizer i actually sold quite a lot of it at the uh, at the stall okay i'm thinking we can probably go for two ivies now that the climbing situation has been updated I feel kind of rude cutting them off, but it's going to take ages if we listen to all of the quest stuff again. Might need to do a little bit of inventory management. No, let's go plant these ones. So tulips are going over here again. Ghostly appearance. Hello, Robin. <laughs> Let's get some fertilizer down on those actually while, while we're thinking about it, since you mentioned it. Is it just me or does it seem to be drying out fast? Where did I plant my first dark red peony? Was it over here? I think it was. Are you still working? Oh, thank you. I'm, 
I'm very grateful for you supporting the live stream, even though you're working. Hopefully it will give like a little bit of uh, relaxation to your work day. <laughs> I'm so glad they fixed the Jasmine issue. You could probably tell in the videos like how frequently I talked about the Jasmine. <laughs> I was just desperately trying literally everything I could think of. I just thought like I must be doing something. Oh, <laughs> place a watering can on the wall um i must be doing something like so so wrong with the jasmine that it's growing so badly but no it's actually just a thing so okay um did i need tulips to do all of these yeah i did Using up the fertilizer then. <laughs> yeah, really, really frustrating. I mean, I if you go back to like the, not the last couple of videos, but the one before that, where before they fixed it, I literally had jasmine everywhere, <laughs> like all along the front, had it all along the back of the trellises along here, just like placing it everywhere, trying to figure out what worked. I do think there was some kind of, I say that, <laughs> no, I do. I think there was some, some kind of method to where you put it, because you might notice that even after the update, the ones that I planted here, on the archway, they still never really grew. They did grow flowers, but they were like really short. Whereas the ones that were in the middle of the garden grew like taller than me. <laughs> okay, I think we should have time. Yeah, we've got loads of time. Let's go back to Leslie's and get some more. It's gonna take me a while to get the money back to get these as well, because I had like the hose, the harvesting bag. Oh, at least now I won't just get loads of pest removal sprays. <laughs> Did anybody see that the first few episodes? Or I was just, I kept buying pest removal spray from Leslie because I didn't realize you could refill it. That was slightly embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't have that much from this though. I had the mushrooms and I had a couple of the plant pots, but we don't have to replace that much stuff. Did you actually do the same thing with the bug spray? That does make me feel better. I really thought that was just me. <laughs> okay. Fertilizer really is great, isn't it? Let's use the last bit on that. Maybe we've got another one. We did put an, a ton of leaves in here. Oh, nearly. It's in progress. Need one more. One more tulip. Just kind of <laughs> watching them grow. I need to be able to sell things again. Let's do a little tidy up. Oh, we're waiting. Let's get rid of some of the rocks. So you can actually see the frog. Can you hear my dog in the background? <laughs> I think she wants to play. Just pet the cat while we're here. She probably won't like that. <laughs> Yeah, bench, then stall. I guess the stall isn't that far away. After the stall, the hose. 
bridge, rubble, and we're back. We're back to where we were. That makes it sound so simple. It's really not that simple. <laughs> There's going to be so much in between. Are we going to get some... Oh, we are. I was going to say, are we going to get some tulip growth before the end of the day? I'm just going to take both of those because I know I'm going to need more. But we can at least do one. Now we need another four. That should be fine. I think we can probably do that. Is that done yet? No. Okay. Let's go for end of day now. Come back when the uh, peony's grown. Oh, the rabbit's on the bin. I don't remember seeing it there before. Oh yay, rain. I don't have to use my little watering can. <laughs> Pick up the post. Street party coming up. Roses and yellow sunflowers. I need some sunflower seeds. Uh, red roses and red poppies. I'm also going to need some poppy seeds in that case. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's really stormy today. I know I mentioned this, like, a long time ago when we started the game, but I just really, really do love the sound of the rain when you go into the shed in comparison to when you're out in the garden. It's just such a nice touch. Okay, where is the bench? There, squirrel bench. Uh, normal boulders, normal rock, normal stone. Oh yeah, that's why I was picking up the stones before. Okay, I actually need those then. Normal rock, normal stone, normal boulder. How many do I need? Uh, three boulders, three rocks, five stones. Okay, let's just go pick a load of them up. Because <laughs> I don't actually want them around here anyway. I didn't have them in the, uh, in the other version. Because there were peonies here, so they definitely must have gone. Yeah, atmospheric, exactly. The sound of the rain, just like generally when you're indoors and it's really raining hard outside, is the best. And it's so accurate as well, like that, that it actually is what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure I left those there for a while, so I don't think I need those. Oh, maybe I do. I need the bolder one. That's this one, right? Yes. And this was in my inventory. <laughs> this was right here. Like there ish. Have I kind of put that in the... Yeah, I kind of have. Okay, that's fine. It's just a slightly far back. Oh, hang on. Before we go see Leslie, let's cut the uh, tulips because they might grow back by the time we uh, return. You had a hailstorm? Until you had to go out and it, then it's not so fun. Yeah. Yeah, we had some hail here. wouldn't quite say it was a storm. It only lasted a few minutes. Yes, Leslie, we want to set up the stall. Yay. 
Perfect. Okay. Uh, so she's given us sunflowers. Has she given us poppies? Because I need poppies. Yeah. Perfect. Might actually get some more poppies while we're in the village. Oh, wrong one. Okay, this is a stage where we've like unlocked loads of them as well. Don't want to give myself too much to do at the same time. But yeah, the um, the sound of the hail is especially good. I can actually put some more of these in now as well. I had loads of daffodils over here originally. Kind of trying to make them look a bit naturally spaced. Oh, why am I watering? It's raining. <laughs> Clearly it's getting late. <laughs> okay. Tons of fertilizer. I'll come and grab that in a minute. Oh, just remembered. Have a hot drink. You should not let that go cold. <laughs> Just standing in the middle of the garden in the rain. <laughs> I also love the little details in this game. Like how cute is our little like, I don't even know what to call this. Like a root friend. I was about to call it a potato, but it clearly has a flower growing out of its head. If they ever decide to do merch for this, I'm definitely buying one of those. <laughs> okay, we can start our sunflower like barricade that we had over here. And the poppies were in this space. Okay, let's grab some fertilizer for everything. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It would, it'd be the perfect handbag accessory. Look, look how great the ivy's grown. Do you remember how like stumpy my ivy was <laughs> before the update? Got loads of roses. Let's start cutting the peonies actually because we're going to need loads of those as well if I remember correctly. Oh right, we're going for the harsh method. Cut it down at the bottom. Do you think we should do it exactly the same way that it was before? Or do you think it's fair to make some small changes as we go? <laughs> it is kind of tempting now. But then if I start making even small changes, I guess it might mess with my overall plan that I had for the garden before. Then again, I haven't even seen that side of the garden, so plans might change <laughs> when we get over there. I'm pretty sure I remember making something else around the same time that I made the bench, but I can't remember what it was. Am I just remembering a quest that comes up later, maybe? Oh, I made the pot tower, didn't I? Yeah, nothing else seems that familiar. We're definitely gonna have mossy rocks at some point because I actually love mossy rocks in a in a garden. How many do we need? We need five of the sunflowers. Oh, actually, I can hand um hand that quest in. No, 
let's just make the red rose bouquets actually for Leslie while we're waiting for stuff to grow. Actually, it's kind of just reminded me doing that. One of the things that um, I've read online, it actually did work for the jasmine before the update, was just to cut it right back to the ground. And that was like the only way to get it to grow at all. So I think maybe this is actually good for the plants. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe a, maybe a few small things <laughs> might change. Have you unlocked all of the areas on yours? I think I'm probably going to have enough of these, actually. How many big K's did she want? Oh, five. Maybe, maybe we do need some more then. Let's make these to start with. Ah, just, just not enough. Okay, let's just go grab some more of those quickly. Well, now I've got an extra one. <laughs> But never mind. How many rose bouquets are we making? Five. There's a lot more. I thought there was a lot more space. It looks like there's going to be. I'm excited for that. And the greenhouse is great. I kind of, I'm so tempted to ask for spoilers, but like, <laughs> I feel like I should save it and wait. Have I caught up with the lost save game yet? Um... Okay, let me show you. <laughs> this is how far we've gotten so far. So no, we have not caught up. But we're getting there. And it is fun getting back to it. So I think you're right. That is what matters. So just three more yellow sunflower cuttings on that one. And... Oh, it's five yellow sunflower bouquets we need for that one. Oh yeah, Leslie's one's quite a big one, isn't it? Okay, we need some more poppies and sunflowers then in that case. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got ages. Did it also take everybody else a ridiculously long time to realise that there's a bike you can take to the village? Or was that just me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lessa. Um, okay, sunflowers are there. Mm, let's get one more poppy. Okay, yeah, extra planting. I might actually have more poppies this time than I did last time. Um, that's fine. Oh no, have I, oh, just, just about. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Once we get the trowel, we might need to do a tiny bit of moving around over there. Let's just stand in the nice, um, nice 
Sounding shed again. You can click on the signpost? Okay, that's news to me. I did not know that. <laughs> New discovery every day in this game. I just was running past the bike. I just thought it was like decoration. This sign? No, not that sign. Which one? Oh, oh right, you actually have to click the village square specifically. Okay, that's quite a nice addition actually. I like that. I wonder if they'll ever add more stuff to this game. Like more plants or like something something else that happens in a quest line or I haven't even finished it yet, I'm already wanting more things. <laughs> Come on, puppies. Actually, maybe I should fertilize them. That would help. Doing well with sunflowers, at least. Has anybody tried to grow a really tall sunflower? Yeah, because I think I mentioned in a previous video, I'm tempted to see like if you just leave one, does it grow ridiculously tall or does it just randomly stop at a certain point? I really do hope they keep adding to it too. I've seen a few complaints online of people saying that there aren't enough plants in it. But I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't finished yet, but I feel like there's quite a lot in it, especially with all the variations of things. But I can imagine that like once you've finished everything, it might start to get a bit like you want something else. You want something new to plant and to grow. Oh, actually, I need to check how we're doing first. Well, I can give in that one, but... Yeah, let's give in that one, actually, because if we start making the... Oh, look at that sad single rose. <laughs> if we start doing the bouquets... I might uh, get confused about how many I can use. Oh yay, poppies. Tons of poppies. <laughs> it is also kind of satisfying that you can like watch them bloom and they like kind of unfurl nicely instead of just popping up. Just <laughs> missed about six times then. Can't remember how many poppies you need for a bouquet. Now, should I give in your quest or save them all? Mm, I should probably actually give in Laurie's quest. And then see if I've still got enough. Yeah, I do. I only need nine. So that shouldn't take too long. How many did it take to make a sunflower bouquet? Five. Let's just be generous with the fertilizer and uh, <laughs> hopefully it won't take that long. The ivy is really growing crazy. I think I actually want to cut that back a bit. It's going to be one of the first things to sell on the stall. Because we are really going to need to make a lot of money to rebuy all of the stuff. Okay, bedtime. Let's just make the bouquets quickly before we go. Oh, actually, that's something I would love to know. Has anybody just waited after it tells them that it's getting late to see what happens? 
<laughs> because I'm thinking like Stardew Valley and stuff, if you stay up too late, you just faint. Like you have some kind of punishment for doing the wrong thing. Ah, hello. Laptop in tip top shape again. Um <laughs> unfortunately not. Um, this is this isn't my laptop. This is um this is the desktop that I use to to do work on sometimes, but the so a lot of the issues have been fixed. It is fixed, so it does work. But to be honest, it's kind of it's kind of revealed a couple of other things that are definitely not perfect on the laptop it's got some um like connection issues with one side where the one of my usbs and the hdmi is um that bit of it isn't fixed but everything else is so it's it's perfectly usable i can still use it for recording but yeah you can just carry on as long as you like no punishment oh this game's kinder than stardew valley <laughs> So many weeds. See, this is where we could do with a weedington. Oh, flies for the first time. To Leslie's. <laughs> Um, where was it? Oh, there. Now to begin the paranoia of flies everywhere. <laughs> we know. Um... Yeah, that's a good question. I'm thinking of getting another laptop. Or is the desktop fine? I mean, the desktop is fine. But I really liked my laptop. It's just, a, it's a lot more convenient. Um, yeah, for a few reasons. I like to use the laptop for work stuff where I can obviously like move it around. And it was really good for gaming. It's just... It's just annoying little problems with it. It's also got a really good screen, a laptop. <laughs> I bought it especially because it had a really, really excellent display. Not that this doesn't have a good one, but you know, I'm really lucky that I've got this as, uh, <laughs> as backup, which is great if I'm doing something like streaming and I want to use all of the USB ports. You've definitely got enough puppies now, right? I mean, I need one more bouquet. Might have got a bit overkill on the puppies. Just three more sunflowers to go. that actually I've already got one in my thing here let's just fertilize everything because we have literally an abundance of fertilizer there we go that gets rid of one Has anybody got a laptop that they would recommend? Uh, I'm not sure if we actually want to make any of these yet. I don't want to use them up in case I can do other quests with them. 
We need to get some white hellebore. Back to Leslie's again. How many can we get? We're a bit rich now. <laughs> let's get... Let's get eight of them. In the previous garden, White Hellebore ended up working pretty well for making money because they grew um, grow loads of flowers per plant. And you don't need that many of them to make a bouquet. There was something there between the roses and where the hellebore was. Wasn't there? Or was it just that the roses spread a lot further down? Oh, I can't remember. I know there's a pot there, so let's just place these roughly where I think they were. I actually might have to go back and check the videos. Yeah, you're thinking of getting one too? Yeah, th see that's the problem. There is so much choice and it's like, you see one, you're like, oh wow, that's amazing. Then you see something else that in one way it's just not quite as good, but in another way it would be a lot better. And it, yeah, it's getting that balance, deciding what it is exactly you want from it. It's kind of like when you're playing an RPG and you have to decide which, which armor to use. <laughs> and one thing's got like, Excellent stats, but one other thing has like lower in uh, in one thing, but slightly higher in another. It's that kind of decision, which I also really struggle with. Not just a real life thing. The sunflower one's turning out to be actually quite, quite time consuming, quite the longest one. Two more. Can I actually afford to get more sunflower seeds? That might be an idea. I did have loads over there originally. Oh, this way. Uh, yeah, I can just get one. Gaming. I don't think I've ever seen that one. And yeah, the expense, obviously, as well. But then that can also be a, a difficult decision because obviously sometimes you get something that's slightly on the cheaper end but it means it doesn't last as long because it's like stuff that's already kind of becoming a bit what's the word I'm looking for outdated essentially but let's pet the cat again that's always cheering <laughs> Have they still got fertilizer on them? Yeah. Oh, yay. Something's happening with them. <laughs> oh, really? Curry's is where I got my current laptop from. They actually do have some pretty good deals sometimes. Oh yeah, that's a good point as well, the noise. 
my my old laptop, the one I had before this one, it I literally sounded like a helicopter was gonna take off if you played anything. It wouldn't it wasn't overheating, it wasn't actually too hot, but it was just really, really noisy. That should be enough for this one, I think. Okay, I actually only needed 15 of those. That was definitely overkill. And we should now be able to do the last of these ones. And that's all of them, right? Yes. Okay, let's go unlock the stall. I did. Hello. <laughs> My dog's decided to join us. I don't know if you can see her. Probably not. That is also a, another good point on the potentially not going for so so much detail on the laptop screen, but having a good desktop uh, a desktop screen. One of the the reasons I actually realised that some of the stuff on my laptop was still broken is I was trying to um, to get another street screen connected for streaming and just could not get it to work, and then tried something else in it. Um, because actually it didn't even occur to me that it would be broken. But then a friend suggested to me that maybe it's just your laptop. Um, so I tried something else in it and yeah, it was absolutely fine. It was actually just, even though I've never used it. It was the uh, HDMI port on my laptop. We're going to be able to make loads of stuff to put in that store. I don't have anything else, do I? Okay, let's finish for the day so we can get back to the store. <laughs> yeah, the doggy needs attention too. She does love a bit of attention. <laughs> She's very fussy. <laughs> I love that setup, Belinda. <laughs> With the Xbox controller in so you can play from, from your bed. Perfect. Red roses and yellow sunflowers. Actually, we might already have enough to do that, do we? Nearly. <laughs> Lily, why are you crying? Come here. Come on. I think she's upset they're playing without her. <laughs> um can we put stuff in the stall straight away? I actually can't remember. Let's just go to the village and get it unlocked. Yes. Yeah, okay, we can. We can start doing stuff straight away. Let's go make some bouquets for this. Uh. 
I don't have, yeah, just checking that I'm not going to get rid of anything I actually need. Probably have too much fertilizer, way more than I need, so we can probably take some of that with us. But let's see how much space we've got after we do the bouquets. Did they actually all fit? Yes. I'll put like four in, I think. Oh, actually, no, let's do loads more than that because. Okay. The rocks need to go away. They're just taking up inventory space. I've actually got more leaves in here. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's put all those in too, actually. That should make us a decent amount. We're not doing too badly now. We have no active requests open. Oh, we need to go and get the uh, dialogue thing pop up for the pavilion. I was about to say, is it not gonna happen? <laughs> So yeah, previously we had done this one, not that one, this one, and this one. I had literally just done this when I lost the save. Maybe this time we'll get luckier with the white lilies because I never did get the seeds for those. Although, actually, we could just save the pavilion quests until, um, like, right at the end. It is only the last thing to do on the to-do list. And then, then we won't get the cool sickle. Okay, let's collect up these seeds. Oh, we had fly issue over here. <laughs> there we go. Now let's put the leaves away before we leave. That sounded really weird. <laughs> Is 
she had her nightly walk? She has. Haven't you? Let's not say that word again, though. You might want to go for another one. <laughs> Generally, when she's doing that, she either wants cuddles or food. M mostly food. <laughs> ah, post. Hellebore and red tulips. Oh yeah, we've got a new puppy colour. Sweet potato for the dog. I mean, basically anything for Lily. Just she especially loves fish. If you let her have like actually anything, but like a little bit of white fish or chicken, she will go crazy for that. Where is that fly? I can hear it, I can't see it. Oh, there. It's like right underneath me. Okay, I probably don't actually want more poppies than this right now, do I? Let's put one more in. And then the rest can go in the seed storage thing. And we'll put the yellow poppy down. I think we might need that later. Cat only gets verbal when he's hungry. <laughs> yeah. And she's just... She's just very greedy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she is a little potato. Might say she is a sweet potato. <laughs> Cats ate everything, even plants. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have a cat that would uh, try and eat the leaves of plants. It's kind of worrying because like, <laughs> you want to tell them that not all plants are safe. <laughs> also like to um, try to chew the, the leaves on the top of pineapples. Oh, there's another new thing over there. New colour. What colour is it? Green. Okay, interesting. Did I have green last time? I don't actually do think I did. Why is it? Oh, that. I thought it was telling me the watering can was empty then. There. I really miss the hose. <laughs> How long before we can get the hose? It's, oh, it's the, it's the next one. I think we can do that. I think we've got enough money to do that now. Should I take one more? I'm doing good for time. Should I take one more bouquet with us? Maybe a couple, actually. Since we've got a while. What's my... Oh, it's 230 florins for Leslie's one. Red tulips and hellebore. So 
Let's start collecting for that one. Is that like trailing on the floor? <laughs> there we go. That's probably enough. Yeah. This isn't going to be enough tulips though. Oh, <laughs> cutting everything apart from the tulip. Actually, let's fertilize those. I hear flies again. Where are the flies? Where are they? Okay, let's just spray randomly. There, it's that one. That's so tricky to spot when there's only like one left. Even though when there's only one left, it sounds like there's a million of them still. Okay, I'll come back to the tulips. Let's go get the hose. Yay. Oh, just. We can just get the hose. That was lucky. We really need to sell some stuff. Okay. That's exciting. I feel like the hose took a lot longer than this the first time. Yay. Okay. Now we're better equipped. Let's cut everything down again and make some bouquets. <laughs> I think the next thing that I want to get is the harvesting bag because that saved so much time. Probably need to get some more tulips too. We didn't have anywhere near enough, and a, a lot of the quests had tulips in. Sleepy time. <laughs> okay, sleep well. Good night. I'm Belinda. You gotta be up at six. Oh. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you again soon, and thank you. <laughs> uh, hopefully the technical issues won't won't come back, and this time the garden won't disappear on us. Bye. Oh, I need my tulips. Need to remember not to get rid of those. We just need two more. Two more tulips. Ah, perfect. Literally just two more tulips have grown. It's like the game hurt me. <laughs> okay, and that is all of the tasks cleared again. We're making good progress on this. The next thing is to have the bridge rebuilt, but we can't do that until we get the quest from Marcus to do the jasmine 
thing, the dreaded Jasmine quest. <laughs> But this time it's going to be fine. We just need to have enough money that we can uh, get all of the trellis that we need and all of the seeds. <laughs> I literally can't get that last pop. There we go. I actually can use up the Hellebore now, can't I? Because I've done Leslie's quest. There we go. Tons. Tons of bouquets. Um, I better keep the ivy ones because we can make a new bouquet from that soon. We don't sell the seeds yet. Well, actually, no, we can sell the ivy seeds. I'm not going to grow any more of those. Not at the moment. Just checking how much the archways are. 400 each. So yeah, we need a lot more money. <laughs> How long do we have left in the day? Not that long. We should get a pretty decent amount of money from that. I don't think I'm going to try to take any more. That was a sign. The clock going off was a sign. We need to go to bed. Actually, I'm going to need to go to bed my like in real life pretty soon. <laughs> but we're on day eight already. We've checked off like half of the checklist. I wonder what triggers Marcus to turn up. Do we have to just like finish a certain amount of quests? I can't remember. Leslie wants yellow daffodils and red poppies. Simple quest. Let's go and water everything first though. Watering and seed collecting. Oh, there's another one there. It's kind of hard to see the sparkly thing in the roses sometimes. Flies. Flies everywhere. There. really need that harvesting back. <laughs> this is so time consuming. It's actually not. It's just so much more time consuming than being able to just sweep them all up. <laughs> Let's put another peony in over here where we had it before. While the seed's there. And I am pretty sure there were more roses. So I'm going to put another one of those in here. Might need to do a trim. Of this one. <laughs> it's kind of overgrowing the space. Okay. I 
make sure I've actually got enough space in the inventory to do this. I might plant another green hellebore, actually. I won't put that one in there. Hmm. I don't like this side. I'm still using the watering can. I don't need to use that. Let's put that away. Don't need a watering can and a hose. Okay, puppies. I think that's going to be more than enough. And daffodils. Right, done, quest done. Let's take some of these. <laughs> I think actually I might keep a few fertilizers in here just as like backup. Let's put three in there. We can sell some of the other ones. Extra puppies and daffodils can be sold. Let's grab some more ivy. And let's do another couple of white hellebore bouquets too. And I think we'll do some more roses. Going crazy. There we go. Okay. Don't need to quite cut them all back. Yeah, the new update on climbing plants has made a lot of things so much easier. I would never have been able to do <laughs> that many ivy bouquets previously. My ivy was like this tall. The baby. It had about three leaves on it. <laughs> now it's even like like that. That's about the height that it got to, like ever. Maximum height. Kinda like me, it got to a certain height and then it just stopped. <laughs> What else shall we make? Let's just do some more daffodil ones because we've got loads of these. I'm going to pick up some more tulip seeds from Leslie's as well. I do have time, don't I? Yeah, loads of time. Ooh, and a sunflower one. carrying piles of leaves around with me again. <laughs> really need to stop doing that. Although actually that did remind me that we can take some of these to sell. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ah, 1,320 florins. We can definitely afford some tulips. Um, how many shall we get? 
Mm, let's get five. Actually, I wonder whether... Did I buy Jasmine before Marcus turned up? Let's try doing that. I think actually I'm, I might have. Maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe it will bring us luck anyway. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get one of the fancy wooden dividers. Although, no, actually the first time we did this, we got the archway. Right? But yeah, let's go for the one of the dividers. We'll set that up and we'll plant one jasmine just in case that's what it takes to make Marcus turn up. It might just be based on like how many days you've been in, in game. Okay. So this one was like this. Oh no. I've done exactly the same thing I did last time. I bought the wrong one. I don't want the fancy ones. I want these ones. Okay, we'll switch it out later. Let's just get the jasmine in. At least we're recreating the authentic experience of the first time. <laughs> okay. Nothing else to make there. Could be pet the cat. Just necessary task of the day. <laughs> Get these tulips in and then I'll... Um, I'll finish for the day and we'll see if it makes Marcus turn up. This is the earliest we've ever been to bed. Hey, we have post. Leslie wants purple iris cuttings and lilac costa cuttings. No Marcus though. Jasmine's growing nicely on the other hand. Let's actually just start cutting that now because we know we're going to need a lot of it later. <laughs> Don't think that was actually quite finished, but nearly. It was nearly full. Okay, let's do all the watering and then we'll go grab the new seeds from Leslie. Has anybody had any luck using the uh, weeds as pest control? Because it does say that you can use them to keep the flies away, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't really worked for me so far. Got a new colour hellebore. What's it going to be? Wild. Wild hellebore. Oops. Okay, so... I'll put that one in. Um... Yeah, I definitely don't remember having a green one. Put that one in at the side, like, here, I think. Ivy just grows like crazy. Cut that down again. Make some bouquets. Actually, let's just grab some puppies and... Oh, <laughs> we've got a serious fly problem over on the puppies. Oh, I'm trying to do it with an empty can. Why can I still hear them? Can I ask it because they're over here? No, it's because they're over here. <laughs> it's 
than everything. No, nope, one more. There, there we go. Now it's actually stopped. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Right, let's do a puppy bouquet and then go to Leslie's. So satisfying being able to make loads of bouquets. Um, 15 purple irises, 15 lilac casters. We shouldn't need actually that many for that. I'm thinking probably about five each would be ideal. Yeah. Can we sell any? Let's sell some of our red rose seeds and the daffodil seeds. We've got tons of those. I don't really need any more white hellebore either. Let's put the leaves into this. And grab some of these too. Off work, yay! Finally. <laughs> Was it a good day? Hello. How goes garden restoration? Right, like this. Let me give you a good view. This is how far we've gotten. <laughs> so it's not going too bad. We're not quite there yet. We haven't gotten to the bridge repair. <laughs> but your view counts the whole time. Yes, it does. And I really appreciate it. Yes, hopefully. I need, um, what do I need? White, white irises and white lilies, I think. Just a regular Wednesday. <laughs> That's pretty good though, isn't it? Sometimes that's all you need. It's just like a normal, no nonsense, no stress, no extra stress day. <laughs> yeah, do it. Grab the switch. I'm sure your garden looks a lot better than this one does currently though. <laughs> but maybe that will give you um, an extra boost for your garden. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I don't want to sell the jasmine cuttings. I was going to keep those. I'm just going to store those up for when we have to do Marcus's jasmine quest. Okay. Um. There, purple irises. We should be able to do five of each of those. Do I want more? Do I want more irises? Let's get an extra one of the iris. Um, perhaps the kids should consider storing your horror games on a separate cloud. They seem to be cursing your cozy games. Maybe that's what happened. Yes. <laughs> I thought you needed white lily for one of the statues. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. White Lily for the the one small one that I haven't done yet. The one that's like on the right in the pavilion. But it could be an iris. Okay, I'm going to have to check that. <laughs> check that when we're back in the village. Have you done many of the pavilion quests on yours? On your game? I'm going to back up everything now as well. Cast or not cast, this is, <laughs> this is not happening again. Um, I think we need to get rid of these. I don't think they were there before. And then I had irises like around here, didn't I? I think I had some at the back too. 
Yeah, I did. I remember them being around here. I might have put those a bit too close. Okay, we also need to get the trowel when we go to Leslie's. Where did I have the... Lilac costas. They were like here, weren't they? In between the roses. They must have had enough... Oh yeah, and I had them like this spaced out so there was enough space to put the lulus in between them. That looks slightly off, but... <laughs> I'll fix it when they've grown. Right? I think so. Let's get some fertilizer on them all. <laughs> You're gonna recommend a new scare fest for me? Withering rooms. Okay, that sounds intriguing. What is Withering Rooms like? <laughs> you got sidetracked by Botany Manor. It's so good, isn't it? Botany Manor, I love that game. I already knew that I was going to like it as soon as I saw it, but it's actually better. Once I played it, I like it more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> oh, perfect. I think um, I should be finished with it quite soon. Oh look, the irises are already growing, perfect. Okay, we need we need 15 of them, so let's not get too excited yet, but there are six. I do love irises. I've got a lot of irises growing in my, my actual garden. <laughs> really lucky for that. Just need the hostas to do the same now. given us six. We've got six so far. Let's do some bouquets while we're waiting. Not bother cutting the yellow ones yet because I don't have enough. Do we have any more jasmine yet? No. Let's grab some daffodils. Investigation puzzle solving occult weirdness in a Victorian mansion. Okay, that sounds absolutely perfect. Excellent recommendation. Thank you very much. I am definitely going to check that out. Withering rooms. Okay, I'm actually, I'm going to write that down. <laughs> Just in case I forget. That absolutely sounds like my kind of game. We've already got extra purple irises. These have started to grow. Oh yeah, I forgot you get like two or three off this one. Okay, why did those ones grow sideways? Is 
Is that one there? Like, in, in there? No, I'm imagining things. I thought I could see some purple. Um, okay. Do we have anything else in here to sell? Actually, speaking of horror games, I've got a new horror game that I'm going to be starting tomorrow. Um, it looks, gameplay-wise, it looks like definitely my kind of thing. I don't want to give too much away about it. Um, I think I'm going to love it. It also looks like it's going to be quite, um... <laughs> what's the word like intense it's definitely got some obvious mature content it might need some blurring to be honest but it's gonna either really really interest me in a kind of like a mystery puzzle solving way or it's gonna absolutely traumatize me with the horrific imagery possibly both but we'll see it's gonna be the first the first horror game of that type that I've played so We'll find out. I mean, I didn't know how I was going to cope with running around in a... in a hole in the ground with a pickaxe trying to, to find my way out of a monster-infested situation, so... And that went pretty well. <laughs> this one... This one can't go worse than that. I don't know whether it came across on the video, but I died a lot in that game. <laughs> It's quite nice there with the pink and green on either side. Why does this one keep growing sideways? Do I need to like, let's cut it all the way back so maybe it will grow straight next time. It's gonna run out of time, isn't it, soon? Perfect. Got loads. That's another one finished for the day. Can we do a really, really quick trip to the, uh, to the stall before the end of the day? I might actually put another yellow poppy in. But we can sell these, these, and... I thought I had one more. Let's just sell the extra hellebore cuttings. And the extra daffodils and the random tulip that I accidentally grabbed. I didn't... Did I... Get rid of some of my iris cuttings? No, I didn't, did I? Just being paranoid. <laughs> you can actually... No, let's save those. Let's save those and make a bouquet with them. Okay, we should get quite a decent amount of money from this. What are we... Oh yeah, 2,247 florins. It looks so pretty as well. I really like the seed display thing that you get. Let's check. Okay, yeah, we're getting the harvesting back and we're getting the trowel. And now we're poor, but that's going to help a lot with a lot of things. They're necessary. Let's do a quick last check. Is there anything we need to do? That's already fertilized. May as well use this up over here on the sunflowers. Maybe the poppies. Let's put that leftover yellow poppy in here as well. Actually, let's keep them close together this time. I scattered them around before and it did look quite pretty, but it also made it quite difficult to um, harvest them correctly because they're so close that frog was really loud then okay i'm gonna grab that 
last iris. <laughs> Let's see how many I need to make a bouquet from them because I can't remember. You can make hosta bouquets. Oh, five. Okay, so it's kind of like the sunflowers. Oh, loads more have just grown. Right, let's grab those two. <laughs> so they'll grow back tomorrow. We can go sell a, sell a bouquet at the store. Right, I'm going. The seed collector thing, it's, you can just buy it from Leslie's. And it's really good. I'll show you now <laughs> how good it is. Let's put that actually in here. Because I definitely want that on the wheel. Right, look. It just makes like a little magic tornado and you suck all the seeds up. It's so much faster. I don't have my fast way of getting rid of weeds though. That's still growing sideways. Why? <laughs> what has happened to that one? Okay, let's do the watering. You don't usually have to watch all of this bit when you're watching the videos. I mean, just... <laughs> Watering everything every morning. We can grab our mass of ivy as well up here. I didn't actually even check the post box. I <laughs> just missed that every time then. Did I have any posts today? like the mundane tasks yeah me too but I, for the um for the videos especially i'm like <laughs> very wary that they might not be the most fun to watch even though they're quite relaxing <laughs> to do okay uh jasmine needs cyclamen and red roses we don't have cyclamen yet so we need to go buy those from leslie This rose has grown massive. There we go. Probably don't actually need to cut them all back. I'll just cut two back. And I think that will give us loads. There. Yeah. More than double. Uh, the one growing sideways, wasn't it one of the plants you had growing on the trellis thing? No, it's one of these, look. A hosta. It should be growing like that, <laughs> but it's just decided to grow like that for some reason. It's fine. Maybe it's too close to the rose bush behind it? It's making it grow weird? I don't know. I mean, that one's a bit sideways, but not as much. I might actually cut these down as well and do some peony bouquets. Dodgy hostas, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Um, but yeah, I, I think that too. Um, the rose bush behind it might be might be causing it. We will. We'll give it a trim and then cut the hosta back and see if that makes any difference. Can I sell you one more? Yeah. Okay, 
we need to do some inventory sorting because a lot of that's gone into storage. Partly because I'm carrying around loads of leaf piles. <laughs> Let's get put those away. I think actually it will go and take this stuff to the stall, pick up the money that we've we've got for the day. And then I think that might be where I leave it for now. Because it's past midnight here now and I do have to work in the morning. <laughs> Not too early, but still. Getting tired now. Hoping to do a bit more streaming as well. Especially with this, because it's it's made it a lot more fun having to redo everything uh, when you're all keeping me company. <laughs> so I do really appreciate you being here. Oh, I forgot to pick up the bouquets that were in storage. It's talking too much, <laughs> but that's okay. We're nearly, we're nearly getting there for having enough money to buy all the dividers. I actually just quickly grab the, grab the other ones. We've got time. Oh, also, tomorrow's video is Botany Manor. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> what am I doing? See, I'm getting tired now. I'm opening all the wrong menus. <laughs> past midnight and brain turns into a pumpkin, Cinderella style. <laughs> okay, just keeping the jasmine. Yeah, there we are. And what does that make us? Oh, that, that actually only makes us 999 florins. I was expecting a bit more than that. Still, shouldn't really complain. Nearly a thousand. Can you sell just the seed packets? Yeah, you can. Yes, I did have loads of it just taking up room in my rucksack. Um, this is something you will notice a lot about me. I tend to collect things in games to the point that my inventory is constantly full. <laughs> really have to stop doing it. I have to start from the beginning of the series and catch up. Oh, well, I'd really appreciate it if you do watch all of them. Obviously, you've played it, so there might be bits that you just want to want to skip ahead on. You might also find it kind of funny the moments that I fail on in Botany Manor. Like, I do make a couple of really silly mistakes by just um, assuming things, I guess. Again, without giving anything away. Um, yeah, some of the plants end up in situations they should not be in <laughs> during that game. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been really really fun so far. I can't wait to finish it off. And yeah, I think we're gonna leave leave the garden here in the nice cozy shed. Um, thank you so much for for watching and for talking to me while I've been redoing the garden. It has actually been a lot of fun doing this. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back um, next time I work on this. I think as well, I'll I'll stream it. Um, I'll let you know when because I'm not I'm not sure yet when I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah. Thank you for keeping me company and hopefully I'll see all of you soon. Goodbye for now. Perfect. Yes. Have it on while you work. <laughs> see you soon. Good night.